see how this game plays out as they get ready for the opening kickoff. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Cougars and their coaching staff, Kirk, just happy to have a guy like this in the program. Their offense really clicks when he's playing well. Well, I think it gives them the diversity that they're looking for. I mean, at times they're going to run the football. Other times they're going to try to air it out. When you have one guy that gets so much attention on the outside, it just seems to open up other aspects of their offensive attack. And they've done a good job as an offensive staff of putting together a good plan. And I'm sure we're going to see it again today. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 36-yard line. Caught out in the open. They'll bring him down around the 46-yard line. What a throw for a big game. That is a great example of the quarterback seeing the whole field and finding the guy who had the best chance of making a catch. made at the 47 yard line and they keep it on the ground for the first down nothing too fancy here the key is that the running back was able to convert the first down first and 10 ball on the 47 and now he's got room to run and he is drilled at the 45 that's good for a gain of eight yards that makes it second and two man left man left They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five wide outlook. Tackle at the 37. So the pass is complete for an eight yard gain and a first down. It's the protection up front that allowed this play to happen. The line controlled the rush and it gave the quarterback an opportunity to deliver a very nice throw. Setting up blockers, the running backs got it on the screen. Drop back four yards on that one. This defense is fast enough that they can create negative yards on completed passes. So the offense might want to consider that next time they try that play. From the 41 yard line, second down. Give to the tailback, and they make the stop at the 40-yard line. Here's the eighth play of the series. They'll line up with five wide receivers. taken down right around the 30. I know the defense would have liked to have prevented such a big game, but the important thing is that they held and brought up fourth down. It looks like they're going to try for the long field goal. It's up, looks long enough, and he splits the uprights. They line up to kick this one away. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. Makes it out to about the 33. A gain of eight on the carry. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Nice run there. Decent game there on the play by the running back, and that's enough for the first. Good running and a strong push to get into the second level of that defense. it to the back and he's taken down at the 38 that'll bring up second and 11. from their own 38 yard line second down 
Very good tackle in space. That makes it first and ten. Well, the defense has to be very frustrated there. They did everything. They got to the quarterback. In fact, it looked like they had a chance to bring him down for the sack, and somehow he's able to throw the ball away. It's second and ten. Ball on the 48-yard line. On the delay, and he's brought down immediately. No gain on the play. That brings up third and ten. He heaves it to the end zone. And this one's broken up. I'll tell you what, if he doesn't get his hand in there, they're looking at a sure touchdown. They're trying to pin them deep with a solid punt right here. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Just about ready to call the first play of this drive. They were able to pick up a field goal on their last possession. Brigham Young is up by three. Play action under pressure. Brought down at the 43-yard line. This isn't even the best example, but I'm going to tell you something. This young man is really getting better at running his routes, which is a truly underrated quality these days. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 43 yard line. And a quick throw. And he's tackled right around the 48 yard line. That's good for a gain of nine yards. That brings us second and one. Scrambling around. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 47. They'll spread the field with five wide. Complete. He's got room. That's going to do it for the first quarter. We got a good one so far. Three nothing. Cougar. Set to resume action here in the second quarter, and we've got a tight ball game. Right, right, right. Mike 13, Mike 13. We gotta get the ball, D, get the ball. He's tackled at the 34 yard line. Game 12 on the play. That makes it first and 10. It's first and 10. Ball on the 34. Brigham Young has a three point lead. Here's the give. He's at the 20, inside the 10. Touchdown, huge play. Once this kid gets into the open field, you're not going to catch him. You know, some of his critics say that all he has is track speed. Well, let me tell you, speed is speed, as we just saw right there. And he tacks on the extra point. It was a six-play, 79-yard drive, and they add seven points to the scoreboard. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. We've got a second and five. Ball on the 30-yard line. 
Give the defense all the credit here. They had that one snuffed out from the start. It could have been an even bigger loss. From their own 37-yard line, it's second down. They'll bring him down around the 45-yard line. are still on the field. They put everyone up on the line. I think you got to give credit to the big boys up front there. They're able to get this back to room that he needed. Play fake. Throw incomplete, one of his receiver. That's just a shame. The receiver did his job. He's able to get a step on the defender, but the ball was under his throw. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 44. They come out on an empty backfield. Steps out of bounds at the 39. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. Sack. But the defense is fired up, responding and reacting to that sack. Not only do they get the quarterback, but they hit him and hit him hard. I think that can really create some confidence for this defense. The next time this quarterback drops back to throw, you got to be thinking he's going to be a little bit gun shy and concerned about the pressure that these defense is putting on him. It looks like they're going to go after this punt. And this one is a beauty. This punt goes over the goal line, and this will be a touchback. If you think about the challenges these two teams are facing, on one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead, and on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. Zips it to the tailback, incomplete. Second and 10, ball on the 20-yard line. Fires quickly, and he's got his man. He's pushed out of bounds at about the 39-yard line. I credit the quarterback on that pass. He made a great read and delivered a very nice pass for the first down. First and 10. Ball on their own 39. Four down, four down. Mike 13, Mike 13. Yeah. Grabs it and hammered right there. That brings up second and nine. The Cougars taking their first time out of the half. Here we go! He gets rid of this one. It's third and nine. Ball on the 41 yard line. So they couldn't pick up the long yardage, and now they'll have to punt. On third down, the defense was expecting the pass, and they defended the play very well in the second round. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. You know, we're getting 
so used to pinball football with a lot of points. Kind of fun to see defenses play this well. Kind of refreshing, isn't it? I mean, every single week we call games and you're seeing scores in the 30s and 40s. This is one of those low-scoring games. Which offense will get that big break? Eventually, it could be the team that wins it. You know they'd like to do something a little more than they did on their last drive when they had to punt the ball away. Fires out to his receiver. And the defense looked a little sluggish there. They can do better than that. That makes it first and ten. ten. First down, ten yards to go. Ball on their own 36. as they're in the shotgun. Get to that quickly. Tackle made to the 38-yard line. Superb effort by the receiver to come down with that ball. But this comes down to the timing between the quarterback and the receiver, and the result, again, a nice play for the offense. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 38. And they've got all their DBs in there to match up against the five wide set. Quick throw. He ran a good looking route and picked up positive yardage. That he did, and he made a good catch. That short passing game is where you see all those hours in the summer that you put in pay off. Makes it to the 24. First and 10, ball on the 24-yard line. He steps out and about the 21. their second time out of the half. This is the eighth play of this drive. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. Quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. Tries to scramble, but he's sacked. Sometimes it's just a relentless pass rush that results in a sack. That's what happened there. Just throws this one away. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. And they can make this a one-possession game with this kick right here. It's up, and it is good. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He really got a hold of that kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Cougars' offensive staff, I think, has done a good job of keeping their wide receiver in the game. Even though he's not having great stats, he's part of it, and the rest of the team now is picking up his slack, I think. Well, this offense is still putting points on the board, and I think at times they're actually using the wide receiver, the great team, who's drawing so much attention. Who is it? Fumble! Loose ball! The 33 yard line. Once the ball hits the ground, it's a matter of luck and will. And on that play, it was the defensive end who corralled it for his side.
In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. He's taken down at the 11. Receiver for the touchdown. And did that play ever develop nicely? Well, it's all about the receiver on this play. He beat his man off the line and then ran a perfect route. All he had to do after that was make the catch. And the secondary didn't quite seem alert enough to defend that pass. Here's the PAT to tie this thing up. And he converts the extra point. A short two-play, 34-yard drive. And they come away with a touchdown. We played a half of football. This one's all even at 10. We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. People say college football is evolving. It's completely an offensive game. Boy, not this one. This one has that old school, hard-nosed, tough feel to it. Yeah, and it's it's good. It's kind of it's kind of refreshing. I know the younger guys, you like all the points all the time, but it, it's fun to watch these kind of games because you see two defenses flying around. It looks like there's 12 or 13 guys on that side of the football making big plays, making big hits, holding the offenses down in a world where we have all the fast pace, up tempo, scoring points galore. It's good to see some defenses bow their necks and play some good, pretty good ball. I can only hope that Nestler and Herb Street will bring the same type of intensity to their call of the second half that David and I have brought to the halftime show. Of course, they always do. That's it for us here in the studio. Time to get you back out to the guys for the second half. All right, Reese and David, thanks, guys. Second half action just about ready to start here. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. I think it says something about the quality of the preparation of both teams that we're into the third quarter, and nobody's been able to pull away. Both sides seem to know what to expect. Throws complete. He's got room to work. I think he's got a good rhythm going right now with his wide receivers. He hit him for a nice game. That makes it seven and six. From their own 29-yard line, second down. Gets it. He's in space. And they make the stop around the 39 yard line. It's a nice job here by the wide receiver of looking the ball in and keeping the chains moving. He was on the same page as his quarterback as they both saw the double outside linebacker blitz coming. Fires out to his wideout. And he's taken down at about the 45. the 45-yard line. It's first down. And he's knocked down immediately after the catch. Second down, about 12 yards to go. Ball on the 31 yard line. Mike 
He's at the 20, inside the 10, and he's tackled right around the four-yard line. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. And the goal line defense digging in here. He's tackled at the one yard line. That's good for a game of three yards. Here's the eighth play of the series. in the bell. Who's going to blink first here? <laughs> exactly right. I've just been impressed with the way they've been able to execute. I mean, there's, there's a lot of pressure on them. Anytime you're feeling that the other offense can put points up on the board, there's a tendency to want to press. Neither one, neither one has done that up to this point, and now it's going to come down to who can continue to execute put points up. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Quick throw out to the receiver. Brought down at the 33. That's a gain of eight on the play. That makes it second and two. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. <laughs> and down he goes at the 43. Number 36 brings him down at the 43-yard line. First down. And a quick throw. That's a great tackle at the 49. Gain of eight yards. That makes it second and two. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Mike 13, Mike 13. Just throws this one away. He should have made the pitch, but he kept it instead and wound up going backwards. It's away, and it's a booming punt. This punt bounces into the end zone, and this will be a touchback. Last time out, they were able to pick up big chunks of yards through the air. You wonder if they'll go back to that same strategy or will they start to lean a little bit more on their ground game. And he throws it away. From their own 20-yard line, second down. Boise State is up seven. Goes quickly and it's almost intercepted. Nice job getting a hand on that one. Yeah, really good heads up play there to get a hand on the football by the defense. Picked 
up seven on the draw. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Nice play fake. There's a strike complete. Huge gain, and that sets him up nicely with a first and goal. Hoping to double their lead here as they close in on the goal line. Boise State up seven points. Tackle at the six. A couple of yards there. Well, it's a good job here to just secure the football, but he just doesn't have enough speed to turn that into something big. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Mike 22, he's coming. 22 is coming. Mike, Mike. Watch the pass. Watch the pass. Complete touchdown. That was a well drawn up play for the wideout. Yeah, they saw something upstairs. It led to a touchdown. You can thank the play calling there. Very impressive. Once he gets those jets on, there wasn't going to be anything that could stop it. And he tacks on the extra point. Looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Broncos continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. The offense takes the field again. They were forced to punt their last time out. Down two possessions. This offense has to step up and capitalize on this possession. Decides to tuck it in, and he's got space. He's taken down at about the 39-yard line. That makes it first and 10. And that'll bring this third quarter to a close. Boise State's in front by 14. Into the fourth quarter now, and we're back to the action. Fires that quickly incomplete. I love to see a confident quarterback, but you don't want to just go back there and put blind faith into your throws. You need a little bit more time to evaluate the coverage before you release the football. Five wide. He scrambled. He's at midfield. And they make the stop at the 40-yard line. From the 40-yard line, first down. Gains his way to the 29-yard line. Give to the running back, and he's going to lose yardage. It's second down now, 14 to go. Ball in the 32. Slings it, and he's taken down at the 31 yard line. That play was going nowhere. Yeah, give a lot of credit to the defense here, recognizing pass and swarming to the receiver. Catches it, and he's looking for more. He's at the 20. Big play, and it's first and goal. Number 32 on the tackle at the nine yard line. That, that makes, makes it first, it first and goal. goal. Come on, Duke. What was that? 
It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. He makes it to the nine. We're at play number nine of this current drive. A quarterback in the gun with five receivers. He tackles him for a loss. You're not going to see this very often from this running back. He just got gobbled up pretty deep in the backfield. From the 13-yard line, it's third down. Throws it out there. They can't connect. Incomplete. Just under three to go in regulation. Zipped it out, and that was almost picked off. And they're going to have to give the ball back after going for it on fourth and long. Not much you can do there. you got to go for it and give yourselves a chance. You aren't going to convert many fourth downs against this defense. That's a really good stop. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. And he's level at the 15. A yard, maybe two on the carry. And the ball carrier wasn't getting away from that tackle. That brings up second and nine. From their own 15-yard line, it's second down. Mike 22, he's coming, 22 is coming. Mike, Mike. 288. He gets to about the 24-yard line. Nothing tentative on that run at all. He looked very determined and got the first down. And he tackles him hard at the 23-yard line. Nowhere to go for the halfback. That's a loss of one. And I'll tell you what, not only was this great penetration, but it was a heck of a hit, too. He gets out to about the 25-yard line. The running back gets two on the carry. And that was the sophomore linebacker there who was able to get in and make that tackle. Third and eight. Ball on the 25. He's going to air it long. And he got it for the 20, for the 10. And he's all the way in for the touchdown. And he adds the extra point. A five-play, 86-yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. Brad, that's one of those drives that can just tear your heart off. They can really demoralize the defense when they drive the ball down the field, and a lot of the yards came on the ground. He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. So now both teams come trotting back out onto the field. They'll spread the field with five wide. Throws incomplete, intended for his wide outs. From their own 25-yard line, second down. Just under two to go in the game. Makes the grab and steps out right away. That, that makes, makes it first, first and ten. ten. Watch number 12. Watch number 12. It's, it's going to be a long day. It's going to be a long day. Fires out to his receiver. And he's tackled right around the 46-yard line. The spike will stop the clock. So it's third down, and they're just inches away from picking up the first down. The quarterback in the gun, empty backfield, five wide receivers in the formation. He's tackled at the 37-yard line. 
regular, regular, regular. They come out in a five wide set. He's hit and taken down. receiver and he can't make the grab. This is the eighth play of this drive. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Throws out to the back and he can't hold out of it. They'll line it up again on third down. He's looking for six, and he's got it. Touchdown. These poor guys in the secondary look like they're still trying to catch up with him. He's gone in a heartbeat. converts the extra point. A nine play, 76 yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. You know, when you can throw the football as well as these guys can, you don't necessarily always have to have a balanced attack because you're so proficient in throwing the ball. And down he goes at the 43 yard line. And what a game it's been for this quarterback, Kirk. Well, I think this whole offense is really clicking, and it's allowing him as a quarterback just to settle in and find his rhythm. But let's also give a lot of credit to some of these wide receivers. They're finding the holes in coverage, doing everything that they need to do to be able to be in sync with their quarterback, and that's resulting in a lot of big plays for this offense. Well, with a two-possession lead, this one's all but over. The offense now will take the field, and they hope to have the same success they had on their last drive. Well, I think the defense right now is just sitting back on their heels. They're allowing the offense to kind of dictate things to them. And the one thing is that any defensive coordinator will tell you in the country, you have to be the one trying to dictate things to the offense. So change it up. Try something different. If it's not working, you can't continue to sit back on your heels. run to the outside. This one's in the books, and our final score, 31-17. Boise State, Kirk, go ahead and just give us your reflections on this game. This is about what I expected to see in this game. BYU came in here hoping to win, but not expecting to win. They need to develop that winning attitude and mentality if they're going to win these type of games. things up for us for EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit. I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks and we'll see you next time.